Hello and welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. Elon Paul here. So, you're probably looking at this wondering to yourself, well, this is an interesting video. It doesn't seem to be as long as he says it's going to be, but that's because we did a little video editing. So let me start out by introducing what we're doing today. Thank you very much for joining us. Let me start there. I appreciate it. Hit your like and subscribes, and I really would appreciate that. that thank you very, very much. So what we're doing today is we're going to do a nanite farming. We're going to nanite farm sentinels. Now, there are many different ways to get yourself nanites. Uh, curiosity deposits. You can uh, trade on trade stations, especially in pirate systems. There's a lot of different things you can do. But we're going to do it with sentinels, and I'm just going to show something because I've done several videos in the past where I've done, hey, how many sentinels can you get in, or how many nanites can you get in an hour? It's 90,000, it's 100,000, it's 75,000. And basically what ends up happening is we do a 10-minute or a 15-minute video, and we show basically with a timer over the course of 10 minutes from the maximum uh, setting when we have all five, uh, we're on level five of the sentinel attack, basically how... Uh, how much we get within that certain amount of time, and then we just math it out from there. We do the multiplication. We say, well, in 10 minutes times 6, this is how much we get. So why don't we do it over the course of an entire hour? So we're going to do an actual one hour fully timed, as you can see by the timer on the right-hand side of your screen, a one hour timed battle with the Sentinels. Now, I'm not going to start that timer until we get to level 5. Once level 5 hits, and we have two of the uh, triangular call-in units, once those two units show up, then we'll hit our timer. Now, we will have acquired a bunch of stuff on the ground from the first four levels of attacks, but I plan on taking as much of those out before we get started. Now, just so you know, we're going to go into my inventory here real quick. Uh, that's not inventory. Here we go. You see, I've got some ammunition saved up, and you're thinking, oh, well, you got four stacks of ammunition. Do you really think you need that much? Yes. Yes, I do. So, moving along, I've got some stuff in my inventory, of course, but you notice none of the things I have in inventory are things that I can get from Sentinels. I want to be very clear about that. Nothing in here are things I can get from Sentinels. That said, checking the starship, just so you can see, stuff from my starship, there's a lot of things in here that we, can, that we have. None of these, including this, this is from Dissident Planets, None of these things are things we can get from Sentinels. So we don't have to worry about that. My freighter is in a completely different system, but just for those of you who can see, I can't access my cargo, and none of these things, including this, is able to be gotten from Sentinels. These are other things that I've gotten along the way. Nothing to do with it except this. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. Um, so yes, you just saw me delete it completely. I don't need it. Nothing else in my inventory, as you can see. So, no matter what happens, except for this, uh, you've got nine antimatters. There's a good chance we're going to get more, but you know what? I'm even going to go so far as to get rid of them. There you go. Deleted. it. Don't have to worry about it. So, now we can say that this is going to be a true run of one hour Sentinel Battle. Now, I will at some point go ahead and edit this video, and I will speed it up. So that's all you're going to see. You're going to see a sped up version of it, and you just watch that timer once we come up, up to the hour. Go ahead and start watching it. You've probably never heard anybody tell you that in a video before that they've asked you to watch. You pull up the video and you, everybody says, watch it through, through the whole thing. Watch it to the end. No, I'm telling you not to do that. I'm going to tell you, watch that timer. When you see it start, skip all the way to the end. And let's see how well we did. Now, if you want to watch along the way, if that's your forte, if that's the things that you like, hey, knock yourself out. I have no problem with it, of course, because I'm the one playing this and I'm going to be the one doing it. And just so you see what multi-tool I'm using, I'm just using a multi-tool. It has four square in the center here of supercharged slots. I'm going to use a pulse spitter. I was going to use the, uh, the bolt caster and it's a lot more fun and yet yeah, it'll be a little bit more damage. It'll probably be about the 40,000 range. I could use neutron cannon, but you know what? That's over, over, over trip powered to do something like this. You'll be taking out too many of them around you at one time. And you have the possibility of taking out the call in units. So you have to use the single shot units. So either you can either use the bolt caster which has a very, very fast reload time, or you can use the Pulse Spitter, which is the second fastest reload time. I'm going to go with the Pulse Spitter just because, hey, it's a lot more fun. See? Let's have fun with that. All right. Now, I picked this area here. I've set up a special base for it. Let me give you a camera view icon uh, view of this. Pull all the way back and take a look. This is my 
arena that I've made here. And you'll see I have a base up there, and you'll recognize these things here. This is one of those uh, uh, buried areas where it has buried treasure and stuff like that. But one of the anomalies of this area here is that it is not affected by the weather unless you get high up in the air or you leave the area. So this whole section in here is going to be my play area. Now, you're wondering about the wall. That's just so I can contain all the barrels that come in, and I can find them very easy. Secondly, when these guys launch their grenades at me, they don't make holes all over the place, and I'm tripping over myself. So I'll be able to have a flat platform I can run around on and fly across. Um, and then thirdly, even the, uh, the quad and all the mech mechanized units will be able to get past this wall and attack me. But I wanted to at least have a little bit of protection so that's why i have these little bit of walls here i can duck back behind here real quick and just catch my breath if i need to i will pick up barrels along the way but we're going to leave as many down as possible so that's this in a nutshell so here we are six minutes in already and you have a good idea of what we're going to be doing so all we need to do is we just need to um uh, annoy a sentinel somewhere and bring him in uh let me just check here i'm going to look in the distance because I know we have some neutrino balls floating around, like the ones underground over here. That's all fine, but there's some in the distance too. So let's go ahead and exit this area real quick, and I'll call in. This is an, uh, if you look closely at this, look down, you'll notice on the left-hand side, Sentinels say malicious. So this is a very dangerous Sentinel planet. They will attack on site, and it's the best planets that you can choose to do this. None of the animals are dangerous here, which is really nice. I don't have to worry about that. Weather is mostly temperate until the storms kick in, and then you have problems. Oh, looks like we got some Gravitino balls over there. Okay, let me just check around, make sure there's no others. I haven't discussed any of the uh, animals around here, so, you know, oh well, you know, it is what it is. Here we go. Ready? Okay, where are they at? Looks like there's two of them over there. <clears throat> and I'm going to pull them in. Oh. A good test of the of the incoming storm as well. Just going to let them come in here. And I'm detected, and they're going to shoot me sooner or later. I'm just going to get rid of him right up front. And we'll pick out the barrel first. Oh, well, we've already got a quad going on. Okay, let's bring the quad in. Sorry, guys. I'm going to escape and bring you into my arena. You notice the extreme storm is now over while I'm here. All right, so we, if you look at the top right, you'll see we're at level three already. Woo! He's in a good. He's a, he's a happy guy. All right, we want to pull them in. Ah, if I get on top of my wall here, I can't get on top of my wall here. Let me get on top of the wall. All right, good deal. Oh, it dropped to level two. How very interesting. All right, so I'm, that's the last one I'm going to grab. We're going to get a lot of that glass. So even though that guy's out the outside... Good thing about these heat storms. Is you can fly forever. All right, I'm going to leave that barrel there. All right, so reinforcements arriving. I'm going to go ahead and get to my center area over here so I can call them in up here. Looks like we got another quad coming in. He should be able to get through the wall. They usually do pass through. There we go. Okay, that's better. I'm just going to let him hit me. It's all right. He can't really hurt me. Ah, call-in unit. There's only one call-in unit for the first couple phases. That's why I'm waiting. <coughs> so this is phase four. They're not counting because they have found me. They can see me. Is that... That's an actual guy out there. Let me see if I can get him. Yep, I can get him from here. Got him. Oh, okay, we already got a mech. Come on in. 
Water's fine. You know, if you hit your, uh... If you hit your jets, you could just fly over the wall there, buddy. I really didn't make it this difficult for these guys, and I have tested over here to see if I could get these guys to work. But, it's just funny to me that he can't figure out how to get through here. Alright, I think we're gonna have to invite him up. Yep, now he's launching. There we go. Whoa, okay. Hi. Uh. Yeah, he's done. There we go. So you get all the benefits of the storm without having to worry about... Without actually having to worry about the storm itself. Now, I haven't had any lightning hit inside here, so that would be really, really interesting if the lightning storm actually comes within. But, we'll see. <clears throat> okay, so this is level 5. We should get two call-in units. Yep, I see them. So here we're going to start the timer. Wrong button. There we go. Timer started. Let's get going. Hello, everybody. Elon Paul here. Um, yeah, I'm interrupting my own video. For the next few minutes, um, this was kind of a failed attempt. Uh, so I decided to go ahead and explain pretty much what's going to be going on here. So um, right around the 14-minute, uh, 53-second mark, we're going to explain yet another round. So keep an eye open for that. Uh, at the 22 minute 30 second mark, we're going to be, we're going to have a second attacker join us. Someone that's attacking me, not attacking sentinels. Very interesting. But it may have an impact on things, and I'm going to explain that later in another secondary version of this. At the 25 minute and 30 second mark, and again, I'm giving you these times so you can specifically go to them. Um, we're going to find that we can attack and hurt certain things that are flying overhead that we didn't realize that we could attack. That makes things very interesting. And then finally, if you jump ahead to the 28-minute mark, um, that's where I'm going to jump back in like I am right now and give you a final analysis on certain things. So just want to give you a rundown of all that. You know, there's a lot going on. You look down below here, and you're going to see that there's all kinds of things just really, really going fast. And yeah, yeah, whatever. Just pay close attention to that. And, um, you know, as we zip past it, we'll get to that. Is But like I said, this is, this is a failed attempt. This first shot here that you are seeing down below right now, Failed attempt. Didn't really work out really uh, very well, but we're going to switch things over, and then I'll explain it again uh, in the actual video what we're going to be doing. All right? So, thank you very much. We'll see you all in the next uh, uh, interruption, I suppose. Okay, and in a multi-tool now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move everything out. 
and we're going to move the um, bolt caster over because I think the bolt caster, as much as it doesn't look cool to do it, I'm telling you, it is definitely worth your time. See, 31,000 actually went down. That's hilarious. 38,000. Yeah, that's the arrangement right there that gets me the most. It's almost 39,000 is what we're getting out of this. If I remember correctly... There was something about the arrangement of these guys. Once it came into contact with that, it made it a lot more valuable. There we go. So 38,906 is what I'm going to get out of the bolt caster. So let's go ahead and make sure that our bolt caster is selected. There we go. And you see, that's the best thing about the bolt caster with all those upgrades. The reload is this. Done. It is so much faster. It's the fastest reloading unit in the game. So, all right. So what we're going to do here is I'm all set to go here. I am going to do a reload. And we'll start this over again, shall we? So 1954. Uh, that may not be perfectly accurate. Let me go ahead and do this. There we go. That's why that's there. 1955. Okay. And this will reset all the Sentinels. And we'll go ahead and get this started again. <clears throat> so what will happen is you're going to see the whole video, the first eight minutes or so. You can see everything sped up to that 13, 14 minute mark. You're going to see me gathering up all the materials and going over those numbers. And then we're going to start again. And by all means, just keep an eye on the timer. Skip to the end. This is thirsty work, so I'm going to be... Uh, checking daily or, or hit, sitting there taking a pause to take a drink every now and then as I'm yapping into the microphone. Uh, let's see. Okay. There you guys are. Hi, guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them out real quick. I'm not even going to bother gathering those things. Gotcha. There's two of them? What in the world? Three? What is going on here? Alright, I had three quads on me. What is up with that? Alright, so as they pull in the reinforcements, we want to get in here. Not going to start the timer yet. Remember that. Oh, I'll win every time. Don't worry. All right. Where's our walker? Thank you. Killed him before he could even get set up. I'm not going to destroy that yet. So the sentinels are searching, which means I've got a sentinel around here that can't find me. Ah, there they are. Ah, dropped outside. Alright. Reinforcements. So this will be stage 5 reinforcements. So we're going to be very careful this time. we got a more accurate weapon. And as they show up, we're going to try to get them to pull in the two-legged walker. So 
there's our two call-in units. To do that, we gotta get the... first little walker to pop up. And for that, I think we've gotta take out the little healer guys. There it is. I just heard him. Funk, where'd he go? I hear him. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Gone. That should call in... I think... The walker. Careful, we got him behind there. So let's go ahead and get this started now. Because we've already got two call-in units, so let's go ahead and get it started right this second. But I got all of you. You know what happened? I'm being attacked by ships overhead. I just realized I've got a ship attacking me overhead. That guy got pissed off because I think I hit him with a blast. Watch. See? Look. I have yet to figure out how to take out a ship overhead. On foot. So I'm gonna try.
Holy crap. Did I just take out a... I just took out a freighter. A frigate? I did not know you could do that. I just learned something new today, guys. What in the world? Okay, 19 minute mark. We're gonna have to try to remember that. Holy mackerel. I just thought by shooting at the freighter it was just gonna be kind of funny, but I did not expect that. I'm just ticking everybody off, aren't I? <laughs> It has stopped right over my base, and he can't move. I wonder if it's my own freighter. Wouldn't that be something? If those are your own freighters flying overhead, and you've literally just taken out your own freighter? I'm gonna go ahead and heal myself a little bit here, folks. There we go. Okay, we're back to some semblance of normalcy now. Uh, whatever normal is, anyway. Indeed, right? Yes, of course, let's have an incoming storm while we're at it. You can see you're doing damage to the ship. That's unbelievable. Ah, uh, okay. Hi folks, me again. Yep, uh, so at the 35 minute mark, it's all over. So there's going to be a sped up version for the next seven minutes uh, that you see going on down below. The, the battle is crazy. Uh, it, not much to see here. It's just a lot of fighting and then the ship flying overhead. But I do want to explain something about that. That ship that's flying overhead drove me nuts. It was kind of like a, a mosquito flying around you while you're trying to do stuff. You can't help but get your attention diverted by it and then you start focusing on it when you shouldn't be and that's really what happened here if you ask me i probably could have gotten a lot more nanite income if you will if i just left the stupid ship alone now i didn't quite notice it and i looked through the video and i tried watching it i didn't see it happening but i'm not sure if the attack from that ship overhead was destroying any of the barrels underneath which means i wouldn't have gotten any of that income but i don't think it did i don't think the two of them can affect one another so I'm pretty certain that what I picked up was unadulterated by the ship flying overhead. Uh, so, again, 35-minute mark is right about where we're going to end that run. Uh, at the 47-minute mark, we're going to give our full tally. So if you want to just skip ahead to the 47-minute mark and see what the big tally was, that'll give you the final numbers of pretty much what, how much I gained in nanites within that hour. Um, and then finally, at about 15 minutes after that, we wrap everything up. We do a lot of shenanigans between that and that 15-minute mark involving that ship that was flying overhead and, uh, and certain other things right around that area. I was attacked by everything in this particular round. I was attacked by not only the Sentinels, I was attacked by that ship overhead. I attacked a, a, the frigate that flew overhead, which I'm blown away by. I'm going to have to check that theory out and see what's involved. Can I actually fly up to the ship at that point and take it over? It's a very interesting pirate act. I don't know how that would work out. So that may be something that's coming down the road a ways. Um, so needless to say, you know, it, it really worked out nicely. This was a pretty decent video. And I'm sorry that the whole video really was an hour long, even though I chopped out a whole lot. There was over two hours worth of materials here that we sped up and, 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 and took, took out of it. Um, if any of you want to see the full version of it, which I still have, of course, in my, in my folder, let me know and I will go ahead and post the full version of everything without these interruptions that I'm giving you right now. So hope you all enjoyed it. Again, hit that like and subscribe. And we'll see you again another time. Thanks, everybody. Take care.
We're done. Got one more. There we go. That's everybody. There we go. Sentinel's disabled. Timer is over. Wow, what a mess that was, to say the least. All right. 
Uh, let's go ahead and install this. We're still being attacked by that little jerk. Alright, to be clear, let's see what we have on us already. Look at how much we picked up just standing around and fighting. So, let me go ahead and get we down to the last batch of that stuff. Um, we're going to get rid of the dihydrogen. That wasn't really acquired. Okay, there we go. So, let's go ahead and gather this stuff up. And we'll have to take a look with our uh, scope as well because there'll be a lot more floating around here. I mean, this is incredible. Let's let's pull back and take a look. I, I've already picked up, only picked up a smattering of it. How high up can we go here? We still have some barrels laying outside. No, there's just a few over there. And that's it. So not bad. Not bad for an hour's worth of work. Get over here in the middle of all these. This looks like a good place to take a picture. What do you think? And that stupid guy still chasing me down and trying to kill me. I think that's a pretty good picture. I like it. We'll do that. We'll add a little bonus to the end as we try to take out that ship a little bit more. Oh my gosh. I think we have enough room in our inventory for all this crap. It's the unpacking of the crap that's going to take a while. I may actually have to pull out a pad and paper, too. I don't know. Calculator. By the time we're done with this, it's going to be incredible. This part of the video will definitely be sped up. With the ship flying overhead and hacking me while I'm doing all this. Okay, take a look around. Combat supplies, that's what we're looking for. There's some outside the circle over there. Okay, so let's grab that one or two last. And grab these over here. I'm pretty sure we got the only brain, because, uh... There we go. I'm pretty sure it uh, it did not survive the onslaught. Yeah, it did not survive. All right, one more quick look. Looks like that is it. Excellent. <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to head inside. Um,
I mean, this guy's kind of crazy. He really doesn't have a choice, and he just feels like he must regain his honor by destroying me. So, you know, it is what it is. Let's get inside. There we go. And we're in. Okay, so let's take a look. Not bad for a day's work, huh? And it looks like we got plenty of ammunition to keep us occupied as well. About half again as much. That's not bad. Uh, we got our one brain. Plenty of that stuff. Okay, good for the pugnium. All right, so there we are. That's what we ended up with, all this glass. Um, let's put the pugnium up here real quick. We're going to drop this down. Uh, let's see. So you can see how many stacks we've got. All right, so these are ten across. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, four deep. So we've got, obviously, you know, ten across. That's 10 stacks here, 40 stacks, 41, and a little more than 41 stacks of this. Each stack is holding 10. So we've got 413 of these salvaged glass. Um, just so you know, this is worth quite a bit. So if you want to sell it, that's quite, that's quite up to you. To understand, I forgot to go ahead and take that out. Hang on a second here. I'm going to put it in the starship. And we're going to go to the starship, and we're going to delete it. There we go. Okay, it's gone. So don't have to worry about it. You notice nothing popped into my starship either. All right. So back to here. So you know what a full stack of Pugnium will run you in here. It's going to run you 400. That's only 400 uh, nanites. Okay. So, yes, I am literally grabbing a pen and pad. So we've got 400 plus this Pugnium here. I am not going to... What is that doing there? There we go. 277. All right. So, 399, 277. We are going to get accurate on this as much as we can. So, 676 nanites just from those alone. No big deal. Now, the others, if I'm not mistaken, I don't think you can do anything with the brain. I don't think it gives you anything that's correct. And the same thing with the quad servos. Yes. So they're just worth money. It's good to hang on to them for upgrades and stuff like that. These are all worth, uh, it says 30,000, but we need to open them up and get what's inside out of them. So here we go. Keep going. It's going to take a little while because we're going to fill up some inventory space, unfortunately. Okay, this takes a little bit too. Hopefully we'll go ahead and uh, fast forward on this one as well. And you just hear the clacking of the mechanical keyboard on this end, sorry. Yeah, I'm just going to talk about carpal tunnel now, huh? Lots of money. Turning the salvage glass into the items you want. So I have to say, this is like the first time I have ever done this in a fully one hour long run. And you can see it's already an hour and 45 minutes long. Although you won't know that. You won't know that. Because obviously what's going to happen is you folks are probably going to be fast forwarding, number one. Number two, I'm going to speed up the video so you don't have to see what's going on. I'm still being shot by this guy through my building. Unbelievable. Act by everything. <clears throat> Sooner or later, we'll finish this up. There we go. Good gravy. So, let's see what we got here. Let's pull these out, because this is the easiest.
Wow. Okay, there is a lot of these. We'll change trade places with those. Another stack over here. And we got a partial stack right there. We'll just swap those around. Alright. We've got Viking effigies like nobody's business. We've got uh, the Lemium. Lemium? Lemium it is. We got stacks of those. We've got plenty of spare parts that you can sell as well as the Magna Gold, the Geodesite. Uh, you got tons of uh, antimatter. More of those. We've got dirty bronze, more computers, and more of these. These are worth quite a bit. So, you know, a quarter mil a piece, you've got a million dollars worth of those. These are worth 250000 a piece. These are worth a little bit, but you probably want to hang on to those, right? Another 100000 Another 84000 110 250 150 250 You see what I mean? This one's worth 900,000 units just by himself. See? You've got millions upon millions in here. Okay? So that makes you some decent money. These are worth 4,800 nanites each. We've got a stack. Of, we've got 10 stacks of them. Whoops. That's not a full stack. Put you over there. Put you over there. Put you over here. Okay, there we go. So we've got 10 full stacks plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 full stacks. So we've got 14 full stacks plus 14 more. So 15 full stacks and 4. So 15 full stacks plus 4 additional. So at 400, uh, pardon me, 4,800 nanites each, that is looking at quite a bit already. So that's uh, 48,000 to start with. So we'll see how we did. And mind you, I got distracted, and you know I did, so no big deal there. But still, this is a good, good test. Uh, that's not what I'm looking for. 4,800 times 15 equals 72,000. So that's 72,000 nanites plus the additional 4. So 480, right, each, times 4. That's an additional 1920, plus the original 676. So that was a grand total of 74,596 nanites just in this alone over the course of one hour. And that's with the distractions. There was a little bit of distractions in there, so I, I could easily say that you probably could have made about 80,000 had you stayed on top of it like I should have. So 80,000 nanites without it breaking a sweat. Um, and 75,000, and I was distracted as well. So that was a lot of fun. A lot of fun that, to get this all done. I'm going to have some fun getting rid of all this, so we'll, we'll make an extra you know, 75,000 on top. Very handy to have that many nanites. A lot of people made the comment of, why would you need that many nanites? Well, when you're upgrading a ship, if you find a really nice ship you like, gosh darn it, you can't find an S-class version of it. You get an A-class or maybe even a B-class. So you upgrade it. It costs you a lot of nanites to upgrade those things. Same thing with multi-tools. If you want a royal multi-tool, the only ones you're going to find normally are going to be C-class. You have to upgrade them all the way to the S-class. That is going to require 10,000, then an additional 25,000, and then 50,000. So you're looking at 85,000 nanites to take your C-class multi-tool and make it into an S-class. So keep that in mind that you will go through these things on a regular basis. Now, of course, you could glitch your, the, the daylights out of all these things. I can easily, if I wanted to, take one of these, and you saw these on my uh, uh, freighter as well, and I had a bunch of them, and I could take, say, for instance, a stack of these right here. And then I can take another portable refiner, and you can, over, you can overlap them is what you would do. And you can get, see, I got three of them there right now. And if I pick them up, one, two, three. Yeah, it only registered ten. It doesn't work every single time, but if you try it again, it will usually, you can usually get the trick to work. Try it one more time. There we go. One, two, and three. There you go. It says ten, but I don't think it gave me ten. Let me see what happens here. No, it didn't give me the 10. It gave me the 10 back originally, but that's it. Oh my gosh, I hope they didn't fix this. 
because that would suck. And that's always one of the biggest things we'd always loved about this game, is being able to glitch uh, what you needed out of it. Nope, it's only giving me 10 every time now, so I don't know if maybe there's a problem. There might be. There might be a problem with these now, that I can't glitch them anymore. That would stink. And here I am trying to show you something pretty neat. Ah, there it goes. 30 exosuit fragments. So if I go back in here, you'll see I now have extra stacks. So if I drop these down in here, which I don't know why, it keeps giving me a 9 over here. There's the 10, there's another 10, we'll put the 9 here, and then the 5 goes down here. A little bit of an inventory glitch. You'll see now I have an extra, extra few stacks in here. So that gives you extras, and you can hang on to these and do that in whatever you want. So that's another way to do it. Curious deposits are a very easy way to get it done. So if you want to do it that way too, that's perfectly fine. It's a little time consuming, taking about 20 minutes to complete a entire stack of uh, uh, runaway mold into nanites. But it's definitely lucrative and it can de definitely be worth your time to do so. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit the like and subscribe. I know by my own video recording, it took me an hour and 52 minutes to get this done. But it to me was a lot of fun. So... Keep that in mind. I am going to go outside. I'm going to have a little fun with this guy here. I like to get on top of a mountain or hill where I can see him further. now I got line of sight and I can see him. He may duck behind a hillside once in a while. But. And as you hit him, he slows down suddenly. I'm just curious as to whether the hijack laser will do any damage to him. It's actually doing damage, and it is actually stopping him from attacking. But wouldn't it be interesting? Because this thing doesn't... takes hardly forever to... I actually did some damage to him there. You saw a little flash on him. That's funny. It's a little bit of a bonus time here. Seeing that you can actually do some damage to these ships. I mean, you obviously can't take one out. That would be a little bit too much. I'm actually hitting him, so... Very, very interesting. kind of flummoxed by this. This is very, very interesting.
That's interesting. I've never fought a ship like this before in such precision. that he keeps moving and, and like deciding to go to a different direction tells me that we are actually hitting him. I just don't know if we could ever do enough damage to a ship with our, our multi-tool to actually take one out. Not sure if anyone's ever done that before. That looked like we actually did damage to him. Weird. I'm just willing to give this a shot because I'm curious as to whether it'll actually work or not. I'm about to be attacked by a creature. You saw the, the actual gunfire bouncing off the ship. So that is very interesting. Could one conceivably, with enough ammunition and time, take out a ship with a multi-tool? Without an incoming storm to bother you. Unbelievable. It looks like we are hitting him. I don't believe this. But I tell you what I'm going to do. I am going to take him out, and I think that's enough of this video. So, let me just puzzle him. Where's my ship? Right over there. That was not a good jump. Yeah, see, there's no damage to him. So literally, with your multi-tool, you can't really take him out. And if I do this, I'm going to lose standing with the people that I'm with. So let's go ahead and just land. I'm going to call it a day. Because I could take him out in a, in a matter of seconds, but... No use in doing so. Alright, and there we go. Alright, 
Well, again, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And again, if you could, please hit the like and subscribe. We'll be doing more stuff like this, more experiments as well. And if you have questions, throw them into the comments section. We'll talk about this at another time. Again, thank you very much, everybody. We'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.